Hey, back real quick. Um, hopefully, I got my headphones on now. Hopefully, you guys can hear me, and hopefully, there's not much extra sound in the background. Uh, I know a couple of people mentioned the wind in a couple of videos. Sometimes it's hard to go inside with the commotion and you know cooking in here and doing daily chores. You know, it's just other noises that are going on. So either way, you can't win. Hopefully, this time it's clear. Um, I'm sure, you all know whether you're on Twitter or you're on Google or on LFC Plus or Anfield, wherever. You, you know, Catino. It's pretty much almost done and dusted, his move to Barcelona. Um, and I just want to say, listen, I appreciate the best moments he gave us, um, especially this half season, which probably was the best. It's unfortunate that it wasn't a full season, but um, I appreciate what he's done for Liverpool, um, what he's contributed. Um, he has some a, a, amazing moments. Um, I've never been a big Catino fan, but I've loved the moments that he's, he's he shared with us and, and the ones that he's created that we, a lot of those we won't forget, you know, because they were really, really amazing moments. Um, and unfortunately, we won't, probably won't be allowed to forget. But can we now just let it go? Um, all the bitterness and the, the nasty things people are saying on Twitter, um, you know, and that's what we are as fans. We're fanatics, you know. So we, we do, we are um, prone to say these things from time to time. But at the end of the day, the number 10 is not on our team anymore. I'm excited, you know, and, I, and, and that might be a, a small mi minority. I don't know, but I'm excited. Um, one, because it feels like a new signing. And, and the assumption that, Klopp is gonna, not going to make a decision not to go for uh, a certain position that we may need to be – made. well, in, in the defensive sense, we definitely need to get that filled. I don't know how pressing he feels it is to necessarily replace Coutinho at this, at this moment, if you will, quote-unquote, replace. Um, but I feel like within the next week, up, up until – before the City game, I, I would imagine that we've got somebody um, – coming in. I, I'm imagining that Liverpool already has somebody targeted or, or some bodies, maybe more than one. Uh, but either way, I'm, I'm excited mainly because we can put this chatter hopefully uh, to bed. I, I can imagine all the way up until City, there'll still be people on Twitter, there'll still be people on, be people on social media that are still, um, you know, disrespecting this man. And sure, you can say he disrespected us. I don't look at it that way. Listen, he's Brazilian. You know, a lot of them have, have grown up watching Ronaldinho and all the other greats that have passed through Spain and played with different teams. The team wants him. He's going he's gonna to go. He's going to go. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just one of those things, and I get it. I get it. But I look at it from a different perspective. And, and my thing is um, the players who don't want to be there, and it was all cute and everything that we fought and played hardball in the summer, but enough is enough. And Klopp is probably thinking, I don't want a player in my squad who, who, who doesn't want to go. Allegedly, he was going to pay a percentage to get out of there. He's desperate. He wants to go. Get him out. Get him out. Bring somebody else in. Bet him in. Um, and that's it. So that, that's my feeling about it. Um, onwards and upwards. This is Liverpool Football Club. It's never been Coutinho FC. I mean, people on Twitter, you would think that we just sold, for me, the whole Fab Four. You know, we sold one player. And to me, he was not a great player. He's a good player. He has some great moments. Um, but I wish him the best at Barcelona. It is what it is. That's my few cents about it. See you guys soon.